My son and I were returning from his daycare and I saw what I thought was an animal in the road. I, at that point I didn't know if it was a kitten or a cat, um, but it was in really bad shape. She was really skinny. She looked from 25 feet away, extremely dirty. But she was walking into traffic to ask for help. But I knew at that point that this kitty needed help and she needed help right away. She smelled awful. She smelled like, she smelled like human urine and she was covered in dirt and I couldn't leave her there. When I saw this kitty, I knew that we were, uh, my son and I were in the right place at the right time. So we grabbed her and I just sped down Falls Road, told him that I had a cat that needed help. They were gracious and quick. She required immediate medical attention. Our exam and veterinary team began triaging the wound on her foot. They gave her subcutaneous fluids to help her become hydrated again. And they started her on various medications to help her overall health. Now hope is because of the SPCA, because of the great work that they do. She's with the foster family and I hope she's great. Hope spent several weeks in foster care while she was receiving medications, going for x-rays, and just putting on weight for her space surgery. And Hope's foster mom did a phenomenal job with her. She kept in touch with us. She gave us regular updates on how she was doing. She even sent us some really great photos and videos when Hope started to really turn the corner medically and started to improve. And we got to see how Hope's personality really came out. So honestly, my roommate and I had just finished fostering um, over the summer and we were really pretty set on not fostering again for a little while and then we saw Hope's story and just just couldn't resist taking her in. It was really kind of fun over the first week to see her start to settle down and settle in and do more purring. She bounced back really quickly. She loves to eat, loves to run around. She is pretty much happy all the time so I just I really want to see her ready for surgery so that she can get into for her forever home. She deserves a really good home. So really the next steps for Hope is just to get spayed and she'll be ready to find her forever home. She's been a great cat. She's been through a lot and she deserves the best. Thank you, little daddy. Yes, sweet cat. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hey, You're going to play with her a lot, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Every time I got an update about her, my heart pulled a little more and I got excited and I got excited, but I didn't know if it was right for us. And I think the universe kind of decided for us that I showed her video to my wife and kind of got that look from her that I knew it was okay to explore the idea of getting her. <laughs> And the conversation about whether or not we should go for her was pretty quick. To get the updates that she was doing better and getting healthier was a big relief. And it was like, I think until that point, you dared not get your hopes up a little bit. Getting her to the point where she's here, she's, she's healthy and she's alive and she's able to be adopted was all that we ever wanted. So all of this is just a huge bonus. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm happy that we can give her a nice home where she can feel safe. Taryn, why are you excited to get a kitty? Because I like her. Because you like her. What needs more to be said? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for giving her a good home. Say bye. Bye, sweet girl. <laughs> We really appreciate you. We'll keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. We have your email. We need pictures. <laughs> we will send pictures. You know how she's doing. You can FaceTime with her. We're really excited yes, and, and really grateful. Really grateful to to SBCA, to Miss Lisa Warren, to everyone that allowed us to do this. You can help us help more pets like Hope by donating to the Maryland SPCA this Giving Tuesday.